Hello everyone, hope you are loading well. So in this video, we will discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contest 334. Uh, it's a hard level problem. The problem name is minimum time to visit a cell in a grid. So you are given M cross N matrix grid consisting of non-negative integers where grid of row column represents the minimum time required to be able to visit that particular cell, which means that you visit the cell row column only when the time you visit is greater than or equal to the value present in that particular grid. Okay. Like for example, here you have five. Okay. So you can visit this cell only when the total time elapsed till now is greater than or equal to five. Simple. You are standing in the top left cell here of the matrix at the zeroth second and you move to any adjacent cell in all four directions, whichever direction you want to move. Okay. Now each move you make takes one second. So return the minimum time required in which you can visit the bottom right cell of the matrix. Now, if you cannot visit the bottom right cell, then return minus one. So <clears throat> you start from here, you have to go from here at any given point of time from this cell. Okay. If this is my matrix. So from here, I can move here, here, here and here. These are the four directions. Okay. These are, these are the things that I need to do. However, just see from moving from one cell to another cell takes one second. Okay. So the total time elapsed since I've started uh, moving from the zero comma zero cell should be greater than or equal to the value present in a particular cell. Then only I'll be able to visit the cell. Like for example, when I start from here, my T equals to zero. Now I take one second to go from here to here. So what is the total time elapsed till now? It is one. So I can visit this cell. However, if I want to move from here to here, okay, then the total time elapsed till now is only one second. So you cannot move to this cell because to visit this cell, you, your, the total time elapsed should be greater than or equal to five. Simple. Okay. So you can move from here to here. Now from here to here, you cannot move because the total time elapsed till now is only two. One second from here to here, one second from here to here. So you cannot move here. So you move from here to here. Okay. So this is what you need to do. So every, every move should be valid. Okay. Every move should be valid. And what is valid condition? Total time is elapsed should be greater than or equal to a particular cell that you want to visit. Then only you will be able to visit that cell. Okay. So now, uh, if I take this example, okay, if I take this example, so the first move at t equals to zero, we are at zero, zero. Now at t equals to one, we can move from here to here, right? Total time is one. At t equals to two, we can move from, uh, we can move to one, one. Okay. That is also good. At t equals to three, we can move from here to here, right? Now again, at t equals to four, we can move from here to here, back, back to that cell. Okay. So, so we are at one, one. Now again, at another timestamp, we move from here to here. Okay. Then the total time elapsed in law is four. Now at t equals to five, we move from here to here. So total time elapsed is five and this is five. So I can visit the cell and then t at t equals to six, I visit here. Okay. Right. One, three, one, three, and then you do it. So the total steps that will be taken is something like this. Okay. It's something like this from here. This is the first step. This is the second step. This is the third step. Okay. This is the fourth step, fifth step, sixth step, seventh step. Okay. These are the seven steps that you take and at t equals to seven, you visit. So if I take the second example, so at t equals to one, the first step that I take, so that will be t equals to one. The total time will be t equals to one. Now I cannot move at this cell or this cell because to visit this cell, your total time should be greater than or equal to two. And for this, it should be greater than or equal to three. So it is not possible to move from here to here, right? Because you cannot take even the first step. So that is why you return a minus one here, right? So that's what the problem is asking you to do. Return the minimum time that you will take to reach the bottom right cell. Okay, that's it. Now, generally in these type of problems, what you do, you do a, a breakfast search, right? Because at you are at this cell. Okay, if I, if I take a matrix, if you are present here, so what do you do? You move at every point of time, you move one distance from here. So as soon as you find your destination, you have, you already have your minimum answer, right? You do bread for such. Now there is an extra condition that we need to validate here. What is that condition? That if I'm visiting from here to here, okay? If I'm visiting from here to here, so what, what I need to uh, take care of that the total time elapsed should be greater than or equal to the value present in this cell. Okay. That what, uh, that's what I need to do now. The trick here is the trick here is suppose the total time elapsed till now is t. Okay. The total time elapsed till now is t. Okay. And you want to visit a cell having value grid R C. Okay. So just see here. 
how many more unit of time you need to spend in the matrix to visit this guy it will be grid of rc minus t okay so that means total time lapse till now is t however grid of r comma c is greater than t if it is less than t you can directly move it move in that cell but if it is greater than t you need to spend some more time in the matrix how much more time this much grid of r comma c minus t now to spend this time in matrix you have to make some moves so which move will you make so a trick a tricky thing here is that if this is your matrix you came from here to here you are standing here now you want to move here okay now you want to move here so what 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 will happen here you can move you can make the moves here right to previous cell then again to the current cell previous cell again to the current cell and so on why we are doing this because we want to spend some more time in the matrix to visit this cell to visit this cell okay now another thing to note here is if this difference if this value if this value is even then what will happen okay then what will happen in that case we will arrive at the we will arrive uh, will arrive at that particular cell right okay if the difference between the current time and the time we need is even we will arrive at the current cell okay uh, uh what do you call it one second late one second late why because because suppose um, the value that i want to visit is 9 the current time is 6 okay the current time is 6 so what i'll do i'm standing here i want to go here so at 6 i'm standing here at 7 i'll be here okay at 7 i will be here at 8 i will be here and at 9 i will be here so when the difference is odd i i'll take the exact number of uh, seconds which is the difference between them however if, if the difference is even what will happen what will happen it will be something like this uh, suppose this is five this is five so the difference between them is four which is even so what will happen i'm standing here i have to go here so at t equals to five i'm here t equals to six t equals to seven okay now again i cannot go because t equals to eight here so t equals to eight t equals to nine and t equals to seven so just see i'm taking one more second here one more extra step will be added here so that is the trick so all you need to do is you need to keep a track that if the the cell that you want to visit okay if that is greater than the current time that you have visited so just check for the difference just check for the difference between current time and the value that you want to visit now if that is even you'll take one extra second else um, the time that you take will be exactly equal to the difference uh, of the of the cell okay so that is what we you need to do now obviously at every given particular point of time you need to pick a cell having the minimum time meaning at every given step i'll pick up the cell i'll pick up the cell which has the minimum visit time okay like this cell i start with this cell now if the time taken to visit this cell that's the that's the thing okay the time taken to visit this cell that is what i'm keeping a track of and at every particular point of time i'm picking up the cell which has the minimum visited time that means i visited that cell the earliest from that i'll be moving in all the four directions so i have taken a uh, what do you call it a priority queue for this case okay so if i show you the code because the code will be self-explanatory the logic that we have discussed uh, will be doing that so these are the four directions in which we more want to move this is a way to do that there are multiple ways to do that but yeah uh, now again if this is your matrix if the adjacent cells line in this case 0 1 and 1 0 so just see if this cell or this cell when you start if this cell or this cell is greater than one then you return minus one because you cannot visit it right that's um, that's for sure you cannot visit so this is uh, this is an edge case that you write here and then you take out the dimensions you take a priority queue now in priority queue what i've done here is uh, the priority queue will be based on the minimum value the minimum uh, value that is present uh, the minimum time will be at the top and what are the values that i'm pushing it's an integer array three values okay three values is what i am pushing now what are these three values the first value is row the second is column the third one is the time the time stamp at which i uh, reached this particular cell so initially obviously i'll be pushing 0 0 0 because because i'm standing at 0 comma 0 at time equals to 0 simple i take a visited array as well to keep a track of which cell i've already visited so that i do not visit that cell again okay and obviously uh, i i use that trick of uh, basically uh, moving between adjacent cells if that is needed okay so i take out one entry okay and i see that if the current row that i have taken out is equals to if the current row and column is equals to the last uh, 
uh, cell that I want to visit, that means I have reached that cell. Okay. And obviously the time that is present here is the minimum time. Okay. So I return time because the, this is what I got from the priority queue. Okay. Also, if the current cell is visited, you just skip it. You skip it. Okay. You skip it. Now, what's the other case? You mark this as visited. Okay. You mark this as visited. Now, traverse in all the four directions. So what are the new rows and columns? It's uh, the current row, current row and column plus uh, RC. This is this is the thing. Okay. So you find. Now, check whether this is valid or not. Okay. Check whether this is valid or not. If it is not valid, skip it. Now, if it is valid, then we need to visit that cell. Now, what are the what are the two possibilities that I want to visit a cell with a value less than the time and the value greater than or equal to time. Okay, so just see this guy is less than or equal to time. That means I can visit this cell. Okay, and at which time stamp will I visit? I will visit at time plus one because uh, I am standing at t time uh, t equals to time. Now the next cell that I'll visit will be will take time plus one. Simple. So you push it into your priority queue. However, the other possibility is the grid that I want to visit, okay, has a value greater than equal to time plus one. That means I need to spend some more time in the grid. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll find the difference. I'll find the difference. Now, if the difference is odd, what do you do? Okay, if the difference is odd, then you will reach that particular cell at grid of R comma C only. That I, that I showed here because you move one step in the previous cell one, two and three. So you can do even steps to reach the same cell and the final step to reach the uh, next cell that you want to visit. However, if that is even, if the difference is even, so you'll take one extra step because one, two, three, four, and this five, just see, so this is the extra step. So if your diff is uh, even, you take one extra step that is grid comma, uh, grid R comma C plus one. Okay. And finally, when you do all this, so this is the place where you get your result. In case you have you were not able to reach this particular cell because of the time constraints, like for example, you were not able to visit a cell because um, uh, there was no path or something like that, then finally your heap will become empty and finally you return minus one from here. Okay, so yeah, I, I would say a very good problem to solve. Uh, the trick here was uh, based on this. Okay, this was the main logic here. So if you were able to find out this, then pro solving this problem was relatively easier. Okay. And I would say that is the reason of uh, such a low accuracy as well. So I hope you learned something new from this video. Uh, do support it by giving up a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel as well. In case of any queries, mention that into the comment section. I'll be more than happy to revert on each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.